Hi, this is a 4.2 kilowatt uh, grid tie solar power system installed at uh, Isro Layout uh, Bangalore. A grid tie system uh, works this way. The power produced by these solar panels is first consumed by the loads of the house. In the event that the power produces more than what is required, the excess energy will go to the power utility grid. On the other hand, if the energy produced by the solar panels are less than what is required for the house, the differential power is imported from the power utility grid. However, the drawback of this whole system is, for the entire system to work efficiently, the power utility grid is mandatory. This is a single string system, so we have a positive and a negative fuse. This is a DC uh, MCB, this is a DC surge protection device. This is a grid tie inverter, this is the heart of the system. This converts the DC output from the solar panels to AC output, that is the DC to AC conversion. Uh, it not only converts DC to AC, it also conditions the output in such a way that it syncs properly with the power utility grid. So the output power before it gets into the LP panel comes into this uh, AC distribution box. Uh, there is no real distribution though, it's, we can also call it as a AC isolator box. It has a ELCB, it has a MCB and a AC surge protection device. As explained earlier, this is a grid tie system with net metering. It's a 4.2 kilowatt system. This is the net meter bill. This is the bill from 10th November 2016 to 10th December 2016. Uh, in this span of 30 days, the consumer has produced 511 units from the solar panels. The consumer has imported 208 units from the power utility grid. The consumer has exported 415 units of energy to the power utility grid. The net energy is 207 units export. So uh, the power utility grid that is BESCOM has to pay the consumer 9.56 into 207 that is 1978.92 rupees for this one month. However, this energy charge of 190 rupees. So BESCOM will pay 1978 minus 190 that is 1788.92 rupees for this 30 days.